What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale, and today's guest, I'm so excited to have her in the studio with us today. She is a hilarious comedian. She has a comedy album coming out this fall. Yes. The one, the only, Deborah DiGiovanni. Ooh. Oh. Excellent pronunciation. Thank no, you. Very good. Very nice. How are you, love? I'm all right. It's good to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah. How tired are we? <laughs> Ooh, well, let's see. How are the bags I know. doing? I... Is the Netflix Netflixing? Yes, it's yeah. doing its job. Yeah, it is doing its job. The second week into the Netflix is a joke festival. Yeah, it's barely begun. It's barely begun. <laughs> I'm I'm road hard. I'm road <laughs> and put away hard. wet, baby. Exactly. Ooh. I am like, huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Red Bull. I've had coffees. We're going to... This is it. It's going to be a great episode. <laughs> How has your festival been? So far, so good, good. I have to say. Um, sort of just the, 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 just breaking into it. I did one outdoor venue during the day on Saturday, and that's fun. I like that one, the outdoor Palladium. That's a good time. Oh, that's like the main, like, yes, epicenter, right? Yes, yes, And I did the crossword show, which is <gasps> so fun because I'm a crossword nerd, so that yeah. was great. That was super fun. It was, it was like a game? Uh, yeah. Oh, they do, fun. Do, um, Zach Sherwin does, he is an, like, an autistic genius, and I say that with love. I say that with complete love. <gasps> Who, Zach yeah. Noy Towers? Is that, uh, no, Zach Sherwin. Do you know Zach Sherwin? And I also Zach so. Noy Towers. Yeah. God bless. <laughs> God bless. He's also... <laughs> We're not trying to out autistic genius. Geniuses, guys. Everybody named Zach. We're Everyone named coming Zach. for you. Zach We're coming Morris, for you. <laughs> Zachary Ty yeah, Bryant. Sure. Now you're just. It works though. I yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. So just started. Done some uh, at the <clears throat> other clubs, and uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. I mean, mine has been good. I had my first show was Thursday night last Thursday, and. I didn't really get into the scope of how big this thing yeah, is yeah. until that night when I walked in and I was like, there is a lot of commotion oh, here. Oh my gosh, yeah. A lot yeah, of commotion. Yeah, yeah, chaos. I'm sitting in the back with Zainab Johnson about to go on and Zainab looks over at me and she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, <gasps> Everyone keeps touching me. Oh. And like like people were coming by and like tapping, grabbing my calf. <laughs> they were like, Justin. And I'm like, mm, hey. <laughs> and I'm trying to focus. And then they're like, Jeff Ross is going on stage with Julian Edelman, mm. who plays for the Patriots, who was part of the roast of Tom Brady, which yes. we will get into. Mm -hmm. um, and so I look at Jeff and he's like, hey, uh, we're just going to go over some stuff. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, go. I get it. I know how this works. And then he's like, I'm going to bring up uh, Julian Edelman. And I'm like, who's that? Like, <laughs> and I, and he goes up on stage, he does his set. They're doing the Tom Brady jokes, which was great. And then he brought up Julian Edelman. And I was like, I have to follow a football player. <laughs> it was such a weird Thing yes, like you yes. know, this guy's won three Super Bowls, yeah. but never he, done stand up. Never, ever, ever. oh, can barely read, <laughs> can barely read. Um, and and it was just so funny seeing them up there. And I'm looking at Zainab, and I'm like, I'm gonna have a panic attack. This is like, and of course, the crowd's just like, yeah, yeah. like just dude bros, yeah, it's the terrifying, all the strength. And then I have to go up there and be like, hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a change of speed. <laughs> Here we are. I yeah, was I a high school mascot. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that true? Yes. <laughs> of course it is. Of yes. course it is. Why? Of course it was. Why would I think anything else? Clark Cougars. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so I get up on stage and like, you know, Jeff brings me up on stage and I was like, well, shit, I have to Do something give something to him. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, keep it going for Jeff, who looks like Lex Luthor. Like, he's straight up Lex Luthor at this point. <laughs> and, and, you know, Travis Kelsey. Um, it was good. I gave it a CTE for effort. Um, so I was very proud of myself for knowing what CTE I, was. Seriously, that, I, those are excellent references. Like, yeah. I'm very impressed with Thank that. Thank you. Absolutely. Because I thought he was in a boy band. Like, I, he everyone does was give I'm boy like, band. what? I have, I have no idea. He looks like the older brother in the boy band. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the one that sort of like, sort of the chaperone, but yes. also sings cool. a little bit. Like, sings down, a little to, bit. Yeah. down to butt chug yeah, Everclear. The, the yeah. only one that's legal. The yes, only one that's legal. Exactly. Yes. Perfect. And then and then Saturday, um, I had a friend who was having a birthday party. And so we were driving through Hollywood to get up into like the Franklin Hills area yeah, over yeah. there. And I don't drive through Hollywood a lot. And I'm just like going through it. And I'm like every like 
nook and cranny. Oh, yeah. Every bus stop, every every bus bench. Everywhere. Yes, yeah, every, yeah, yeah. Any, any, like some abandoned building. <laughs> they got it. A Hollywood tour it. bus. Yes. You know, a homeless person's <laughs> box is all being used <laughs> for this Absolutely. Netflix is a joke festival. I there was like it. a tent city on Sunday, yes. on sunset. And I'm like, I think this is an event. <laughs> this I don't think event. this is and like. It's VIP too. It's very VIP. You don't have a pass. You're not getting it. I know. That's yeah. all there is to it. Honey, you're not. Yeah. Hanging with the tent city without now, a pass. Th- this is the first Netflix is a joke festival that I've been a part of. Is yeah, this the same thing? Me too. Because it, I, I have to say, I didn't know the the breadth of it. I yeah. really, I mean, I knew it was going to be big. Yeah. But this, it's full chaos. It's like the city has been taken over it by the is festival. Insane. Yeah. And cut to last night when it was like, I mean, it was we, it was climaxing. Oh, like yes. it was. Yeah. Uh, it was very like you couldn't even walk around this you, club. It was, like you really could not. People kept comparing it to like pre-COVID days, oh. which which I was kind of like, oh no, I forgot about COVID. <laughs> we all did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah, we yeah. all did. Oh, no. When you forget about oh. COVID, the world is healing. Yes, uh, I. It was so like just insane. Like the energy was chaotic yeah. it was like people were just coming in left and right the roast had just ended and i was doing the um set of the night show with bruce gray and kelly ryan and um it started 30 minutes late it, it was a th- three hour long show <laughs> and i was just sitting up there and hanging out <laughs> and then Drew Bledsoe comes in and sits right down next to me. Now, mind you, I had watched the roast earlier that night. So I saw him on the TV and then this guy's sitting next to me and he is having a blast. Oh, yeah. Good, good. He was having a blast on the Netflix show. Yes. <laughs> and having even even more bigger of a blast sitting next to this. Yeah, hello. Oh. It was so wild. He was like, I just want to come up here and talk and and see comedy and I was like okay <laughs> but I was like these are open micers with dreams <laughs> yeah, um, say, this is comedy yeah question, question mark, mark? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah yeah it was it was definitely something and at one point I'm sitting there and he just goes <gasps> and I'm like no oh god no 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 <laughs> and I'm like am I gonna get thrown up oh. on by a patriot oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, and if it happens, can I leave? Oh my god! Or is it a hate crime? I, the vomiting or the uh, the vomity? I don't know. Leaving? He, yeah. Wait he, a second, though. Mm. It happened? No, 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 no. Oh god! But the sound. Ooh, I that's... was like, because I knew, like, I you can like. Yeah. Apparently, he was drinking wine during the actual roast. Yes. He had moved on to like full on like there was like that's vodka, it. soda, tequila. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, oh, he's yeah. mixing. Oh, my god. So he was very, very friendly, very, very nice. Um, introduced himself. I introduced myself, and <laughs> it got to the point where he's like. I'm gonna go take a piss, man. I'll be right back. Oh, and I'm yeah, like, like, I'll yeah, see you yeah. in a few. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> never to return. No, he came back. He did. He, he did come back, and then he's like, "All right, I gotta, I gotta get oh. out of here." Oh my but god! But the chaos, like Jimmy Carr popped yeah, in. Yeah, uh, Mark Norman popped in. Like, like Chappelle showed up. Wandered like, around somewhere. All of the roasters oh, came yeah. in. Like, it was just like. Can we, we have to go back to the vomit thing uh-huh. just for a moment. Sure. I have a severe vomit phobia. Okay. I really do. Like even that noise would like, I would flip a table to get mm-hmm. away from him. Like I'm not, like I don't, I've not experienced it in real life, but like I feel like if a stranger was to vomit near me or on me, I might kill them. Yeah. I literally might kill them. I, I don't, I'm not sure I could control my reaction. Right. Am I going to jail for that? No, 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 no. I don't think you, I think it's, I've, I've been thrown up on oh, before. By a stranger? Yeah, I was oh. on the bus as a kid oh. and the kid behind me just hot. Oh God. Hot grits all oh. over the back of my neck. And oh, I just, my God. but I didn't move. I just sat there and was like, Okay, this has happened. I mean, I don't even know what happened after that. I think I went into out. shock. You yeah, blocked, you I don't remember like out. having to go home or, or anything like that. No. Changing your clothes. Uh, yeah, I, I think oh, there. I was like, God. "Mommy, why is there corn in uh, my socks?" And 
And, I and think, she's like, I don't want to know. I really don't want to know. And so it begins the I life. Know. Oh, wow. I could, but if he would have vomited on you, that would have been, I mean, that would have been some story. Though. Oh, I, I know. Mean, seriously. I was like, hey, you guys, how was your Netflix as a Jew? Because I got puked on. I have his DNA now. Oh, right. Oh. The things you could do. It was so, it was It was a wild night. I didn't leave here till 1.30. I had to get oh. up at 6. I'm oh. just like, oh. Uh, I know. So, and it continues, and this is it. It's I know. Literally, this was the first weekend. It's just begun. Do you have shows this week? I have um, a show on oh Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, okay. but I'm at um, the uh, ones at UCB. It's the uh, Canadian show. God oh yeah, they throw us a bone. God bless <laughs> UCB. We'll take it. Uh, but yeah, Wednesday and then on Tuesday something else that I can't exactly remember right now. No, no. Mm. Um, I'm in. I think I'm in Santa Monica on Tuesday. Mm. Sheng Wang, myself. Um, and a couple other comics that I'm sorry. I, I'm also tired. Oh, I Did I know. mention tired? I know. Yeah. I'm the same way. So we have, I have my live show. I'm doing this show live oh, in the fabulous. belly room fabulous. on Thursday, Yay. eight o'clock. Friday, I'll be at the bourbon room. So oh, I'm going fun. I love that venue. So do I. It's so fun. It's so good. It's so, just yeah. a sexy, fun time. Yeah. 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 Good. Nice. It's really, really Hooray. fun. And then, yeah, hopefully when this is all over. You'll, we'll still be standing. I can talk to my mother for Mother's oh. Day. <laughs> oh, God, that's coming up to It's, the, it? it's <laughs> that's when it closes. Yeah, that's you would think it would be like on Father's Day because yeah. most of us don't have one. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> or at least your father, all you got, you can text your dad. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Thanks. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Done. Okay. No, moms require phone calls. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, or I, FaceTimes, at least. I definitely want to talk about um, the. Um, the roast. Yes. Because it's all over the internet. Mm, mm. I I thought watching it, it was it was very well done. I I it is crazy how much work goes into the roast. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like they have so how many, many people writers. are yes. part of it. Oh yeah. I mean, like I mean, I could just name off of a, a few. Megan Gailey was yes. one of them, Sarah yes. Tiana, yes. Benji Alflalo, the oh, list yeah. goes on and on. And they it, it's just so crazy how much time goes into that and then they just cram it all and give it to I don't think I don't think the regular people know that. They don't. I, I don't think they know that. I think they think it's just per comic. Mm -hmm. Each comic, each everybody, not just the comics, obviously everyone, uh the the football players of course. Yeah. But like they have like, they have a gang of mm -hmm. writers. It is a posse, if you will, a team. But yeah, that's a lot and then it just gets boiled down. I saw I was lucky enough to see uh, Nikki yeah. prepping for uh for her uh, roast for like the last couple of nights. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. what what happens here is before the roast a lot of the the dais comes in to run their jokes, yeah. what hits, what doesn't, what they can tweak. So after um, Jeff and Julian finished, like they went into the little VIP lounge and they were both in there with a team around them oh, huddling yeah. them. Yeah. I was like, oh, football. Oh. <laughs> and they were all just like going to town, yeah, like yeah, yeah. what worked, what didn't work. But mm -hmm. Nikki went up there, who I thought had the best set of the night. She always does, though. She's so good. She just always does. You know, that is, I, I'm a huge fan of yeah. Nikki. I just think, and I think roasting is, because, you know, I don't think everyone can roast. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a very fine line, I think, of roasting, of like between like, like cold-blooded and also you need a tiny bit of warmth in there too. Do you know what I mean? It can't right. just be like just, you know. Harsh yeah, and mean. There does need to be. Harsh and mean is great, but it's got to be with a love, you know, Killing kinda. with kindness. Yes, yes, always, always. And she's just really one of the best. I mean, the, the, one the, of the best. The timing. Oh, yeah. And you know what I really liked about it too is that I felt like everybody kind of went this whole like homophobic way. Yeah. Of, you know, everything was just gay. and Because yeah. <laughs> he sucks dick. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God, locker room talk. Truly. Truly. truly, truly yeah. And I just like that she just made it smart and kind of went around and just kind of crafted it to herself. Yeah, to, it, to her style. Yeah. And because I always love Nishi her little asides. Yeah. Yes, a yeah. little bit. I love her little, you know, asides. I was say little asides and I mm -hmm. was going to talk about Kevin Hart. Not a coincidence. But she just, she just... <laughs> She's so funny. She just made. We're, I'm not. We're not going to ruin any of them, are we? We're just going to let people watch. You have to watch. Watch. It's well, so I mean, great. my notes yeah. were as follows. Mm -hmm. Like I thought it was. I I thought Kevin Hart did a good job. Yeah. Um, bless his little heart. Bless his little heart. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't understand why he kept critiquing everybody after their sets. I like, feel like he had that, notes. I, that's his, that's the director at him, I think, yeah. at this point. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like, that was good. And I also liked the one about, and you're like, okay, move the show along. Um, Tagging everything. It was yeah. just, I mean, it was just a free for all. I mean, I did, I did love that Kim Kardashian got booed. <gasps> 
I will always stand behind that. I'm sorry, but I will. Uh, oh, and, you uh, love her? No, I okay. love her have her booed. Are you I kidding me? Oh, I was my like, God, until my throat is sore. I felt Are like my kidding? wish was coming true. <laughs> like, it was so, like, I was like. <gasps> Christmas? Yeah. Mama? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> totally. Like, I was like, okay. Uh, they're like, all right, bring her up. And I was like, oh, God, can we just have one thing? I know. One Please, thing. Uh, can like, we keep anything, like, pure? There was a Is movie, there anything? There was a movie, like, a, like a, a decade ago called One Day Without a Mexican. I just want one day without a Kardashian. <laughs> That's it. Just one Is that day. Is possible? Yes. Oh, that'll be a good day. And, like, watching it last mm. night, it was like, ooh. Oh. And I'm like, <gasps> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it felt it felt good. It was like being when Elon was booed. Yeah, uh, Chappelle show. You're like, Ooh. I just watch that over and over sometimes. Just <laughs> tell me, it helps me sleep. Is that your Pornhub mm, category? Yes, <laughs> it is. It is. But I did see um, because again, I've only I watched Nikki live and I watched a couple comics. I saw them working it out, but I have not actually watched the roast yet, mm-hmm. except for the Tom Brady, Kim Kardashian. Oh. She was terrified to be here because oh. she had to leave her kids with her husband. Pretty good. That's really <laughs> yeah. good. I always love the reaction shots of everybody else. And they're they're like, like, ooh. <laughs> You're really like, ooh, cold-blooded. But that was good. And he, you know, he delivered it well too. He, he got it good. out. He really did. I mean, they went in yes. on him. So, there were like, I mean, Nikki's oh, joke about oh. uh uh he doesn't he only leaves his pregnant girlfriend or whatever. <laughs> Like Bridget Monaghan or whatever. Yeah. I mean, and, and, the, and the stuff about jujitsu. Like, yes, yes, I mean, who knew karate and jujitsu? Oh, please. There we go. And oh, my God. There was like Ben Affleck was getting oh. shit for like. Why not? Calling sure. out trolls. Okay. And, yeah. You're not a fan if you don't really support the game. It's like, okay. All right. Um, I just thought it was, it was, it was a yeah. good time. Ron Burgundy made an appearance. Oh, God bless. There you go. Um, okay. But overall, yeah, yeah it was it was, a, it was a good roast. It was good to see everybody back in the realm. And I, I did love the format that it was like not on Comedy Central. Yeah. It could get a little dark. A lot of things were said that uh, yeah. I was like, A lot of things oh. you probably won't see, everybody. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I was like, uh, maybe not watch it with your parents. <laughs> Um, unless they're cool. Not suitable for you, yeah, I was going to say. Don't watch it with your mother. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> before Mother's Day, unless she's into that. No. Unless she puts cigarettes in her coffee, you know? And then... And then, yeah. Yeah. And then let her go. But um, <laughs> overall, Roast was great. Good. The festival's yes. fantastic. Mm-hmm. But I do want to talk about <gasps> Mother. Things. Okay, go. Yes, Mother is mothering this Mother's Day because this week is the Met Gala. <gasps> Yes. Oh my God, they come so quickly, don't they? They really do. What is our what's our theme this year? You know what, Deborah? What? I'm so glad you asked. Oh, good. Tell. Because the theme this year is. (laughs) It's so stupid. I love it. What is it? Sleeping Beauties. Hold on. It is. Let's look. Hold on. It's Sleeping Beauties reawakening fashion. Oh. So pajamas? Is it jammies? Much, I mean, my God, if I just saw like a couture pajama. I know, that'd be fun though. Oh, uh, This I mean, is the only one I could go to then. This I mean, is the only one I could go to. It's just Because I got jammies, baby. I got jammies. I mean, I'm practically wearing jammies now. <laughs> it's just Bella Hadid in a onesie. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, slay queen. Absolutely. Oh slay. God. Oh my God. I just, uh, yeah, someone with uh, uh, crystals. You know, what is it? The Swarovski? Yeah, like just bedazzle. Oh, by yeah. the way, it is Mother's Day. Go to my bio because you will get a discount for Cozy Earth for the mothers in your life. Nice. So yes, it's a forty percent discount. Forty percent. Forty percent. That's Pajamas, nice. That's like an actual discount. Sheets. Oh yeah, it's good. Mm, sheets it's, is always a good gift. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. You get to a certain point in your life where you're like, give me sheets. Give no me one sheets. wants to buy sheets. Give me a bath we towel. Want, yes. A blanket. Linens, if you will. A blanket. Oh come on. So Lovely. good. Good deal. All right. But uh, yeah. So Anna Wintour is now apologizing for the gala, which is airing tonight, which is in New York City. Okay. Um, I will do all my little meh gala looks <laughs> for the live show. Yes. Um, but the theme is Sleeping Beauty's Reawakening Fashion, okay. while the dress code is The Garden of Time. So are we getting two themes, both alike in dignity, in <laughs> fair, met ball? We we lay our scene. That's that's yeah. When you're when you have a weak theme, you add a second one. That's so that's weird. Where, yeah, that's strange. But she's admitting that may have unintentionally opened the door for any and every kind of interpretation. Fair. This this exhibition broke my cardinal rule. 
Cue the lightning. Cue the thunder. Ravens, crows, <laughs> wolves. Demons. Yeah. Yes. Ah! <laughs> yeah. You broke the cardinal rule. Ah! She says, when we came up with the title Sleeping Beauties, it's wonderful and poetic and romantic, but actually it could be many, many things. Yeah. So she sought advisement from the Met Museum of Arts Costume Institute uh, curator, Andrew Bolton, about the dress code. She said, what are we going to say to people to wear to this night? <laughs> Why does she talk like that? <laughs> what are we going to say to people to wear to this night? <laughs> and she's German. And he said, well, what about Garden of Time? And Wintour shared, so I fear that we've unleashed a lot of confusion out there for which I deeply apologize. Wow. Is that the first time on record? I think so. The but, devil has apologized. Oh my gosh. This is it. The world ends yeah, right now. Yep. Um, Garden of Time, though. That's that's a broad... Uh, but Garden of Time? The Garden of Time. And what I immediately go to is full nude bodysuit, ah. fig leaf, flavor you know flave clock. I have, you know, I'm not just saying this. My mind went there too. Yeah. Like naked is, Adam and Eve, flavor flavor. Oh, that's clock. what we already know what a Kardashian's gonna wear. That's clear. That's probably Kimmy's couture. Kimmy's plan. Fig leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ugh. God. You know, whatever. Uh, yeah. But I still love it though. I still love seeing well, it. I do. I love seeing it. I I I I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. I don't know. I think like Jennifer Lopez, I think Zendaya, um, <sighs> Bad Bunny or like the like gatekeepers of Zendaya, the Yeah, she I mean God, she's everything. She can do no wrong. Did you see yes. uh, yep, what would you think? I was aroused at one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> like that's what we're talking about. Challengers? Yikes! Tennis is, I mean, okay, we always knew tennis was hot, though. I mean, tennis is hot. Yeah. It's disgustingly privileged and hot mm -hmm. and all the things, but <clears throat> yes, please. Yes. Yes, uh, please. I, uh, I can't wait. I, I, here's the thing. I feel like whatever the Met Gala theme is, there are people who just don't get it. Like, oh, there yeah, was, no. There was one year where it was like camp. And like, oh, th that was a hard year. A lot of people don't know what camp means. I was shocked. Yes, yeah. And like, Celine Dion didn't know what camp was. How and I'm she not know? She know. is camp. She like, is that camp. is, she was, yeah. All she just needed to do was wear that backwards tuxedo Thank one you. more time. Like, RuPaul had like a, uh, like a yeah. fur sleeve. Yeah, and a, yeah, every, yeah. I was just like, how is no one getting this? Yeah, it's a shame though. When I do when people miss it, or I love it when people sort of, I love it, hate it, when people just don't even care. And they're just like, I'm wearing the gown and no, that's it. Like Amy yeah. Schumer is wearing like a black suit one yeah. year. I'm like, what is this? Yeah. So now we have two themes. Um, Anna is stressed. She's like, oh God, <laughs> there's going to be too many interpretations. What if, what if she loses weight in her stress? She will float cease away. To exist. Yeah. What if she like like it's she like, misses one snack? Yeah, she's Thanos gone. snaps and she just disintegrates. She's like, no! <laughs> it's like it's the Marvel, the thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? With the, yeah. you know the what? <laughs> well, but I'm also like Anna. This is your thing. Yeah, you're Vogue, not vague. You know what I mean? It's like. Well, don't can, these aren't the brightest people invited to, to your party? You have to help them. Yeah, you have to help them. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm gonna. Okay, she's tired. I'm, she's I, tired, girl. I'm gonna try and think about it. I'm gonna like, okay, you know okay, what? What would you wear? Let's do that. If okay. It's, if it's Sleeping Beauty's Awakening mm, Fashion, mm. I'm thinking. I mean, I'm gonna go to like Fairy Tale. I'm sorry, I'm going Fairy Tale Red yes. Fair. Yes. If if Bad Bunny shows up as a satyr, I will explode. <laughs> like I will be like, yes. If someone shows up with goat hooves, oh yeah, with like a like like deer horns and feathers and yeah, yeah, flowers. Yeah. Someone has to give There's me no legend. Way. Give yeah, me, yeah. you know, yeah, that's fun. Uh, See, that's I went, what I would do. I I went immediately. My brain went and thought like I would cover myself in cobwebs. <laughs> do you know what I mean arising from the slumber? I'd say it wouldn't be a hard costume. I mean, you know what I mean? Under the bed, you're done. One sweep under the... You're like one of those people in like those those giant spider movies where they're in the yes. barn and they're like, kill oh, me! Yes. And they're wrapped in the... See, that's it. That's it. Do you know what I mean? But that's still, fashion. That is fashion. And yeah. some would call it fabulous. Everyone would be like, like okay, there yes. we go. Great. <laughs> yes, I think it's it's so interesting. I'm very excited. I'm I I love a good fashion moment. I yeah. like seeing who's not invited, which is another thing. Which is another thing. There are rules. You can't post pictures about or inside the actual gala. Oh yes, okay. And you can't smoke in 
the museum. Yeah. Shocking. I know. <laughs> Guys, you can't yeah, smoke in see- museums. What? I know. <laughs> I know. You can smoke in comedy clubs, <laughs> yeah, but you but can't not smoke in museums. in museums. So do they take away everyone's phone? Is that what happens? Like, is is are, are people phoneless? That can't be happening. I don't think they're phoneless. Okay. Um, they're phoneless, not toothless, which yeah. is a new organization <laughs> started by Dorit. Um, but, um, but there was a picture like a couple years ago yeah. where like Haley Bieber and all of them were just meeting in the ladies' yeah. room and they were just like smoking yes. and just oh. like, fuck this. There's you know? probably like, they probably have NDAs. Like they probably have to like sign sh- forms that say, don't post anything. Right. I mean, do you think th- these people are going to listen to no, a rule? Right. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. No. We we hope for that. No. But no. Yeah. They're like, what does this say? No smoking? Hey, Bella, give me a Marlboro. Uh, like, <laughs> I mean, but that's it. It's not for those people. That's for real people. Mm-hmm. For regular people aren't allowed to smoke. But, but if you're like attendees. If you're a Kendall Jenner. I mean, please. Oh, okay, God. you want to say about the people that aren't invited, though? Like, I mean... Who yeah, are, are not invited? Who were who were not going to yeah. see? I know, and that's I mean because you can't buy your. Can you buy? I mean, of course you can buy your way onto the list. Of right. course you can, but like who makes that list? Anna, I, mean, <gasps> I think Anna does. Oh, just by her little old lonesome. Mm-hmm. God bless. She just has a hard life. She's, I, a, she does. she's lady whistle down. She just makes lists <laughs> for her annual party. <laughs> like uh, if you're watching Palm Royale, she puts the oh. beach ball together. Oh, you see, you know, I have I have to watch. I have to tuck into that. I yeah, really do yes, it's fabulous. Kristen Wiig, I mean, please. Oh, you haven't seen it? No! And Carol Burnett is on it, too, is she not? Carol Burnett, it is her birthday today, 91 years old. Stop. I know. Oh, my God. I know, it's really good. Ricky Martin's in it, who is headlining L.A. Pride. Thank God. I think I manifested this. Did did you? I think I did. I believe it. I talked about him for so long. (laughs) He had had no choice. He had no choice. When he was single, I was like, Ricky Martindale, let's make it happen. (laughs) Like, that is such right? a good portmanteau. Oh my gosh. Uh, and he's fantastic on it. I mean, good. it's just been a good, a, a good spring so far. Nice, yeah. We just had uh, you know, we have new music coming out. Everyone's already calling Sabrina Carpenter's espresso song like the fun. song of the summer. Have you fun, heard it? Fun, fun. No, but I'm I know her. I like her. I do too. I do too, but I haven't I've, I've got to don't know what it means. Home. I'll rush home. I'm excited. It's so cute, yes. but I don't know what it means. We don't okay. know what it means. It's, mm-hmm. she just, it just has like a cool little pool little bop vibe. Kind of mm, yeah. Fun, fun. Good music. Yeah, great. Madonna over the weekend. What did Madonna do over the weekend? Madonna became the first woman in music history to have 1.6 million people attend a solo concert um, especially for a woman, yes, with a career span Spanning, of forty I mean, years. My goodness, like, like literally gives me goosebumps. Crazy, because this is like, I mean, I'm of the age that Madonna was. She was my childhood. Like that yeah. was my childhood. I was obsessed, like a virgin. I mean, lucky star, all of that. Come on, yeah. So I know that she has some troubles. She's she said some things that you know, but but my God, over can we look at the whole breadth of her, like the whole span of her career? I it's mean, insane. Wow, wait. and and like. There, this is like the crowd. I think they oh. even did like a drone footage. Oh. Um, so one point, what was it? One point six. One point six. Oh my god! And one, look at that though. That is terrifying. I don't want to be in that crowd this unless was I'm in a nice. Actually, the comedy store last night. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. You look Thank good. You. <laughs> I mean, they got a good angle of you. One point six. I I oh, don't even wow. want to know what that's like. I don't. I, I I don't know. Where I, was it? What city do we know? This was uh, Rio de Janeiro. Oh, I was going to say Brazil. Okay. Brazil. Um. Wow. Yeah. Congrats. I mean, Bob the Drag Queen's on that too. Is he yeah. On? Yeah. Fun, fun, Did fun. this show as well? Mm-hmm. But like, yeah. it's it's it is just wild to think because a lot of people are like, this will be the only person. To ever to, do that. To I mean, it's that. like it's like if it was the Beatles yeah, or like yeah. a group, you know, um, but a one, band. Yeah, but, but a one, pers- one a person. solo artist. I mean, until Taylor does it, that is, you know, Madonna Taylor didn't will be do on it. it. No, Taylor her, didn't do give it. Her, give her a couple years. Give her a couple years. Do we think Taylor Swift is like? <laughs> <laughs> Like, there's just a revenge Madonna album. Yes. I mean, it'd be better yes. than the one that came out this yeah. time. Oh, okay. God. You know what? 30, was it 31 tracks on the 36. 36. Too many. Edit. You know Edit. what? Edit. I take it back. Mm. It could be 33. It could be 32. Yeah. It's in the 30s. Yeah. Too many songs. It is 30. I mean, I think for just like 
any album. Yeah. That's a lot, unless it's like a best of your whole career or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, come on. What, 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 what happened to the 14, 16 uh -huh. track albums? Am I wrong? Exactly. Uh, Throw in hmm. a hidden track, whatever. Sure. I was Do something for just fans, but that's just a lot. Something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was in a conversation with some gays yesterday. Mm. And we like were talking do. about it. And I have felt so alone <laughs> because I I appreciate Taylor Swift. Yeah. I've talked about her so many times yes. on this podcast. Yes. But I'm not like a uh, you're not a Swift. Yes. Yes, yeah. And so there were guys that I was with yesterday, and I was like, one of them was like, Ugh, the new album. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> They're like, yeah, it's just, it's just really kind of sad. And uh, oh. There's not like any bops and you know, I just want like some sort of a yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Shake one it of off the, or one something. Of the song, and a song, like, uh, yeah, and yeah. I, and I can't feel sorry for her. I'm like, you're a billionaire. No, I know she just became a billionaire. And I'm like, you're that depressed. Well, this is the thing too. It's like, um, it just seems like a lot for someone who's already like super successful. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like she's trying to outdo herself. I think at this point, mm -hmm. it's like you're allowed to take a month off. Do you know take what I mean? Break. Like, I swear. I mean, that's. Because when was the last time? I don't feel like it was even... I don't feel like the last album's cold yet. No, you know no, no, I mean? no. She got the uh, Grammy and then yeah, was yeah. like, in one week. I'm oh like, doing, God. Like, my goodness. I know. Yes. I'm like, go on vacation. Yes, a little bit. Little <sighs> Anna, she doesn't sleep that one. She does not sleep. Well, speaking of music, mm. over the weekend, yes. there was a hip-hop battle. <gasps> Oh. Do you do you know this story? I don't know the full story. I know okay. who it is. Drake is my people. Drake is your people. Yeah, Kendrick Canadian. Kendrick Lamar. Yes. Huge. Yes. I mean, huge, huge, huge. Huge brawl. To the yeah. point where I talked to my friend yesterday on my dog walk with my dog. And I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm listening to this diss track. <gasps> How quickly did they put that out? That is amazing. <laughs> it was so fast. That, yeah, it's so fast. Um, but it was like all over the internet. I guess Kendrick Lamar just, I guess Drake released a song. Kendrick Lamar did a rebuttal and just went in with Hard. receipts, mama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, and I'll okay. just read this Dude, article. Please go. Give me. Uh, so Drake just turned the tables on Kendrick Lamar dropping a new diss record to say he baited him into telling a lie about a fake daughter. This while also denying he's a predator. <gasps> Well, that's good. <laughs> Champagne Poppy released The Heart Part 6. Ooh. Um, Sunday, a play on Kendrick Lamar's running song series of the same name. I don't like a song series. Well, it's giving R. Kelly. Part 6 is a lot. It's like it? trapped okay. in the closet. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> and just from the cover art, you could tell it was going to double down on Drake allegations about Kendrick and his fiance, Whitney Alford. Okay. Uh, the content is pretty scathing. Drake says that Kendrick mentioned on... Meet on the Grams. God, I'm so white. I got <laughs> Namely, the allegation he was hiding another kid was BS. Yeah. And Drizzy says he knows that because he made sure to leak it out in hopes that K. Dot would air it. I Am I making I, I, sense? No, to okay, be honest, good. but I know the kids get okay. it. That's all that matters. Good. Turns out Kendrick <laughs> fell for it. And if you believe Drake floated unsubstantiated rumors, by the way, we had already been told by our Drake sources that the daughter thing was horse crap. Oh. Uh, shout out to the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Drake also takes time to address Kendrick's repeated salacious claim that he's a pedophile, a notion Kendrick suggested was shared by a lot of the folks in the OVO camp. Drake straight up denies it, saying he's never been with a minor and there's no evidence to prove Kendrick's allegation. He also says he's way too famous to play that game. Oh, honey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> way too famous? Oh. You're way, you're way. Let's look at the list, I'm shall too, we? Yeah, I am way, you should never have a sentence that says, so I'm too, too famous, famous to be a pedophile. <laughs> never say that. Never let that come yeah. out of your mouth. And I think it's the opposite, actually. You can yeah. be too unsuccessful. Um, yeah. <laughs> you, and you shouldn't say that either. No. I'm really yeah. too unsuccessful yeah. to be a creep. Okay. Yeah. Um, has, it has no financial. Uh, yeah. God. So finally, Drake once again pushed his own wild claim that Kendrick beat his longtime fiance, whom he suggests Kendrick is actually estranged from, while once again insisting that one of their children might actually belong to Kendrick's creative partner, Dave Free. Oh my 
God. For what it's worth, Kendrick has yet to directly address Drake's allegation and ditto for Whitney. Of course, this comes on the heels of yet the latest diss track against Drake, Not Like Us, in which Kendrick quadruples down on the whole Predator narrative with a catchy mustard beat. <laughs> you know what I love a, must, a mustard beat? A little Dijon? Are you kidding me? A I little, love it. A little poupon. <laughs> just a little poupon of a mustard beat. <laughs> now, okay, they could also just go to therapy. True. They could, though. I mean, that's mm -hmm. something they could do. But is this is just... L.A., Deborah. Oh, God, I know. What Rather than doing? go to therapy, that's we would it. rather look to the sky and yeah. say, Pluto, <laughs> stop being in mer uh, retrograde. <laughs> Mercury was in retrograde. Now Pluto's in retrograde. Stop this, it. And this is what happens. Yeah. Okay, what I did enjoy, though, the, the socials, talking about a lot of people had some very funny, like, you know, just how, I think our friend, uh, Marcela Aguelo, mm -hmm. she did a, about, like, this is, this is, you know, what happens now. Remember when they used to just kill each other? You know what I mean? This is, I mean, it's, it's efficient. Is this not, like, salacious? Uh, it is. Like, you're accusing people of, like, the worst behavior, but in song? I know. <laughs> it is. It's Shakespearean almost. Isn't it a little bit? I, 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 I mean, if, probably not. If you're, like, Iago <laughs> in, like, Othello or, like... Like, this is, like, villain what? shit. I mean, it really is. And also, too, like, how quickly this is, I mean... It came out the next day. My God. I know. Wow. It okay. is. It, I mean, I'm impressed, but I'm, it's that, also... That's impressive. That is impressive. Are you but kidding? I'm like, I, I think of how long it takes to write and perfect a joke. I can't even I think mean, of anything God. that rhymes with pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Oh, my I'm like... God. I know. Uh, 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 drop that ketchup beat. <laughs> oh, it's mustard? It's mustard. Got it. No, I'm never... I'm going to stop thinking. I'm never going to be able to let go. Pedophile. What rhymes with pedophile? Pedophile. Uh, it's going to end with file. I file, can't think of anything. Like, fi pedophile. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God. And this is why. Yeah. This is why. But this it is, is where funny. We are. Of course, Marcella said that because I am now, because that's what it was. They were like, yeah. this is like a biggie Ugh. Tupac thing. Yeah, but that ended much quicker. Oh, I know. Anyway, anyway. So, boys, talk it out. I was like, going to say. Just be, just God go bless. Hug go, it out. Go grab a lunch mm. at Sweet Greens. I know someone needs coffee. Yeah. That's what get it is. Get a coffee. Yes, go get uh, like a hibiscus. Yes. Pomegranate Something. tea. Refresher of yeah. some sort. Oh, a oh. spritz. Gorge. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, now, now you got me wanting a minute. Julep. <laughs> because of which. this past week was the Kentucky Derby. Oh, my gosh. There's so much going on. I know. And Anna Nicole Smith's lookalike daughter, mm. Danny Lynn, who is the groundhog of the Kentucky Derby. <gasps> she comes out every <laughs> year for the Kentucky Derby. She sees her shadow and, and then, then leaves right away. afterwards. Yes. Um, and I mean, I've seen she's been going yeah. since like she was a baby. Yes. Um, she looks in, she looks just like her mom. She does. How old is she now? Uh, 20, 17. Okay, God. I was gonna say 20. Yeah. She looks great. Yeah. So here's Danny Lynn Burkhead. It was the 150th Kentucky Derby with her dad, Keith Urban. I'm sorry, Larry Burkhead <laughs> on Saturday. Have you seen her dad? Yes. Keith Urban. Yes, Keith yes. Urban. But like, you know, yeah. poor man's Keith Urban. Ugh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but. Yeah, very, very much. Very much the uh, uh, what oh, you order on Wish. I mean, yikes, so. <laughs> That's when Keith still did, you know, frosted tips. I know. You know what I, mean? I know. That's God bless us all. But she did attend it. I mean, she looks great. Yeah, she's cute as anything. Um, I don't care no. about the Derby. Is oh, are we gonna get in trouble for that? I don't. No, 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 no. I mean, it, it is. It is like the Southern Met Gala. Yeah, though. It I mean, oh, it is though. It's true. It's the true. Hats, the hats, the, the fascinators. The yes, yeah. Um. So this was her. She was uh, inspired by her favorite character, Hino. IG, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I don't know what that is. is. That, um, that's that's got to be um, anime or something. I, I, I is it? Is is it? I hope Danny Lynn's into an Yep, anime. There we go. Wow, good for her. God bless, yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, the ruffles. Okay, we get it. We get it. Cute. Yep. <laughs> okay. Is this why she's always oh, at the Kentucky Derby? I think. Because there we go. I don't know. Did what, Anna leave I her? Wanna, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to be mean, but... No, but God bless her. That's a lot of gum. That a is a lot, lot of gum. There it is. 
I was waiting for it. God damn it. I didn't even have to Why say it. Why the long face is oh, what we'll say. Oh, shit. Oh, no. God, that is a carrot a in front thing. of this kid's face. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. And it's, it's a bit. It's a bit, but it's fun. But, uh, oh, uh, oh, I say nay to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here's all the stars that did attend okay, the Kentucky Derby. Oh, goodness. We have Dr. Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, that's cute. Yeah, white suit, uh, yeah. Martha. Martha Stewart is oh. giving us... Fucking, what's her name from? That is that <laughs> Downton is, Abbey. It is very yes. much. Yeah, that hat is that's a gardening hat. She just threw that on. Oh yeah. Yeah, bless her. Um, we have Jack Harlow. Oh, there he is. Hello. That's a busy suit. It's a very busy suit. That hurts the eyes. Uh, Cheryl Lee Ralph. Oh god, she's absolutely oh, just fabulous. firing her. everybody she, in her company. Oh, oh, I mean, but look, just she's look at her, she's. Fabulous. Yeah, she is. Ah! I like that it's also like kind of like a metropolitan yes, uh, uh, twist to the absolutely. derby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks great. Uh, we have Richie Sambora. Which is which somebody. We, <laughs> he was in Bon Jovi. Oh, he was a Bon Jovi. But also, we yes. don't have that... We don't have that, that reference That doesn't anymore. happen a lot where no. we go, here we have Richie Sambora. There we go. When was the last time you said that sentence? I don't know. If ever. If I know. Ever, if ever. I mean, there he He's is. He's hanging on to that hair, I'll yeah, tell you what. Yeah, uh, he these two. Just... <laughs> and then, yeah, that's, and that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's all that were there yeah, in attendance. there we go. Mm, um, fun. But, uh, the horse, the horse's names were kind of. Oh, this is okay. This it's is my fun. favorite. And one of them was what? Bert, I feel like okay. Bert I'm gonna start. Had... I'm gonna go backwards. All right, go. So twenty to one, mm. and then I'm gonna make you place your bets. <gasps> okay. On who won? Okay, go. Because I know who won. Okay. Oh, okay. Number twenty, we have um, <laughs> Harvey Weinstein's favorite horse, Just a Touch. Oh. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay, go. <laughs> Number 19, we have Catalytic. <gasps> 18, Grand Mo, the first, <laughs> which, how did they know my nickname in high school? <laughs> <laughs> um, seven, yeah, you seven, are the first, by I'm the way. Grand Mo. <laughs> <laughs> this Original. pride is mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> number 17, Just Steal. Just Steal. Oh, wow. S-T-E-E-L. Not okay. like Grab oh, and Dash. Okay, okay fair enough. <laughs> Which could be a horse's name. Which is name. also what I was going to say. That's actually more clever. But yeah. anyway. Grab and Tash. And nope, this is their arch nemesis, Just Steel. <laughs> Number 16. Ooh, Society Man. <gasps> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 15, our first LGBTQ plus horse, Fierceness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does drag on the weekends. Oh my yes. gosh. Opulence. Opulence. <laughs> you derby everything. Uh, 14, Epic Ride. Uh, well, mm. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> well, I have no proof. But it happened. Uh, <laughs> oh. Number 13, Domestic Product. Oh. She's a prude. She's approved. Oh, goodness. Yeah, she's not allowed to leave the house on weekends. Yeah, no, yeah. no. She doesn't have rights. No. No. Uh, number 12, West Saratoga. All right. Not East. No, not West East. West Saratoga. Yeah, no. 11, Track Phantom. Oh. Ooh. I like that one. Okay. Number 10. I'm worried about number 10. Okay, go. Door knock. <laughs> Door knock. Oh, 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 no. Which is strange. That's he was one of the football players at the roast, wasn't that was, he? Yes. yes. Ron Dornowski. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, Endlessly. Oh, oh poetic. Oh, wow. Uh, eight, Honor Marie. That's, okay. that's... Your Honor Marie? What is no, she got like, no, It's like baby shower shit. Oh, yes. This is Honor Marie. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, no, yeah. Yeah, not even a blue or pink, just a, a buttercream, <laughs> like like a gender reveal buttercream. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, number seven, Stronghold. Okay. Okay. Six, Resilience. Oh. Five, T.O. Password. Oh. I don't like that one. Me neither. I'm not, I'm Four, looking. Catching Freedom. Oh, January 6th. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, oh, no. That, oh, no. that horse marched on the Capitol. That was. <laughs> oh, no. Yep. <laughs> It was probably the horse in Beyonce's <laughs> album cover with the American flag I hope, over. I, I hope so, no. Okay. What do we got? And top the top five? three, top, oh, top three, three top Forever five. Young. Oh, cute. That's a cute one. Yes. Two, Sierra Leone. <gasps> and number one, Mystic Dan. 
Oh, Mystic Dan? Mm. Mystic Dan? Like Lieutenant Dan's Lieutenant. wizard brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do, do we, we're going to choose the winner. I'm going to guess yeah, the winner. Yeah, you choose the winner from those names. I'm going to pray that it's fierceness. I know. Was, it wasn't, though, was it? It wasn't, oh, not fierceness. this year. I know. Did they place? Did they do anything? I, I think they all got put down if they don't oh, win. Oh, no. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. the winner. If you don't win, I'm leaving you. The challenges. winner is Mystic Dan. Stop it! Mystic Dan was the winner. Oh, bless. His I actually heart. read that in the order of, of the, the winners. Of the, of the, yeah, there you go. Because I thought Sierra Leone won, yeah. and I was like, "That's drag <laughs> coming to the stage." Sierra Leone, Miss, your Miss Continental Kentucky Derby 2024. <laughs> yes. Oh my. Yeah. Well, look at that, Mystic Dan. God, good for Mystic you, Mystic Dan. Good for you. You get to live another year. I'm assuming. I know. You get a, a wreath of roses. Yes. That and you some don't extra even know. oats. There yeah. we go. I, think, I don't even know what they get. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of extra oats, Kristen Davis. <laughs> ah! Kristen oh, Davis, no. Sex in the City is yes. coming back. Charlotte, and just like here we that, go. Yep. Charlotte was so brave over the weekend. Mm, mm. She posted a fresh, no makeup selfie. Oh, my goodness. After getting her fillers dissolved. Uh, oh, yes, I did read about this, though. Yeah. Okay, go. Fillers dissolved would be a good horse. That would be a great <laughs> next year. Madonna's horse. Oh my God. Fillers dissolved. <laughs> yes. Amazing. So Kristen Davis is going in a new no makeup selfie on May the 1st. The Sex and the City star posted a fresh face snap, which appears to have been taken in her home. In the photo, Kristen, 59, <laughs> rocks voluminous <laughs> waves in her hair, a simple gray t-shirt, and of course, a face free of makeup. <laughs> so uh, this was the, uh, this was the Let's picture. Take a look, see. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good for she you. She looks dynamite. She looks great. She looks dynamite. So good. Yeah. She's back. Yeah, good. Yeah. And just like that, yes. Charlotte returned. And, and here she is. There we she go. She looks fantastic. Okay. Now, can we say this? So I I spoke at this the other day. Yeah. SJP. Did she, does Sarah, I don't feel like she's done a lot of work. No. I really don't. No. She is, you know what? And I have to say, I'm surprised. I'm not, really? I'm not because I think she looks dynamite yeah. and great. But I thought she might be someone that would. Yeah. But there we go. She's not. And I just say that because of obviously the Carrie Bradshaw connotations, but no. Good, I, good I, I think it's, I, I kind of, I'm kind of digging it. And I was kind of surprised too, because I thought that she would go down that route. Would. I would, I would have thought that, that before, should be pressured into before, it. Do you know what I mean? Um, Charlotte. Before, yes, absolutely. But they all look good. I mean, seriously, 59. Wow. You know what I love though? I mean, we know, I love that 59. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. That is just. That's a lovely face, but that's just gracefully aging. Gracefully it's aging. nice to see. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to see. Especially in a town. And yes, where you're not allowed to. She looks She looks great. great, though. She really does look good. 59, I like that, that, you know, you still look at 59 and you're just like, yeah, that's not. Cause remember, I mean, we look at pictures of people from that are 59, oh, yeah. from like 1959, oh, and yeah. they look like the Crypt Keeper. They are I don't understand that. I don't know what's happened. It's so we, weird to I, say that. Sunscreen? I don't know. I don't know I don't either. Know. Yeah. I was watching um, Mary and George on Stars mm. with Julianne Moore. It's mm. like the new, like, King James. Like, oh, the, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she okay. like, whores out her son yes, to the king. Yes, yes, so fun, good. Fun. And there's a scene where Queen Anne of Denmark is dying of tuberculosis. So I'm sitting on the couch and I'm like a little history buff and I'm going through it. I'm like, how did Queen Anne die? Da, mm -hmm. da, da, da. They're like, oh, she died um, of tuberculosis, yeah. which I'm like, sure, awful. Fair enough. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> the, the woman like playing her is like easily like mid 60s yeah. or at least she looks like it. It could yeah. be a wig, a white yeah, wig, yeah. but she looks like she's like in her mid 60s. 44. <gasps> Queen Anne died of tuberculosis at, in, in, in 1944 <laughs> at, the, at the age of 44 years wow. old. And I'm like, yeah. oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. What mean, was it? That's diet? The, the, I, I mean, mean say, I mean, but that's, the, no, they didn't life, live that long. That life. It was yes. life. Bleak. Bleak. Bleakness. I mean, that's it. But they also, too, it's like, the, the, yes, people didn't live as long. But I'm talking like, even like, you know, they always do that sort of classic example of the Golden Girls. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Of like, Rue McClanahan. Like, yeah. What they were like, what? 50 when they yeah. shot that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And God bless. I'm not saying anything. They all are gorgeous women. But it was like. 
Yeah. Wow. Or like even fifty is like J Lo is what? How old is J Lo? I mean, fifty three or something. Yeah. Terrifying. But it's Terrifying. it is it is interesting too because it's like he'll be like, oh, here's uh, shows from like back in the eighties yes. where they're like, oh, the dad from this show was thirty eight, and, and you're he like, looked, yes, and he looked like oh, he was like fifty five. Honestly, honestly, it's I don't know weird. if it's like child mentality, maybe. but like kind of. Yeah, maybe it's one of those things yeah, that like yeah. you know, everything when, when we were kids, they're like they seem so old. Like eighteen seemed old when you were like nine. You know, mm -hmm. oh cute. But I, cute. I I appreciate that uh, that there is you know well I was, she's relaxed yes it. I, I, yeah because I, I felt like it was such a big trend yeah like fillers and da -da -da -da. Oh, yeah, like yeah. now now everyone's going after the guys getting it done people yes. are going after Ryan Gosling know, for like I know oh, he's got too much filler yeah. you know but did you say have you seen to me more. Stunning. Oh my God. Stunning. Oh my God. I know. Like, okay. Because there was. She there was went, a time. She went through a small stretch mm -hmm. where it That's was like. The, that was yes, it. The one this on the left. One with the cheekbone. Yeah. That was, that was like, I didn't. I, at first yeah. glance, you were like, oh, Demi. Like, it was what really are you like. Doing? Well, but then who Demi more, Demi less. Oh, de yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. But like, whoever the doctor is, mm, is I, mean, I mean, is going to be the richest doctor in the land. So because my stunning. God, she. 61. Yeah. And she just looks like Demi Moore. God, she just looks like the always. Demi Moore that we all know. I mean, I my hope goodness. She goes to the Met Gala. Yeah, I know. I'd like to see what she's, she's gonna wear. Just that is, I mean, gorgeous. look at this. 61. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, Stunning. it's it's it is against nature. We do know this is against God. We Something. know this. But wow. I know. Wow. I wow. Agree. Totally. Huh, there you go. But it was also announced that oh. Rosie O'Donnell's joining the cast of In Just Like That. I so I'm saw. like, I'm, I'll tuck in. I'll tuck in. <laughs> I really will. I hate watch it. You, I oh, do. I mean, yeah, did you a little bit? I did. But then I know I'm but I, suckered in. I can't I, stop. I hate watched it because of Che Diaz. Yes. And the whole like. The comedy thing. That's You can't put her, a comedian her, in a show and let comedians watch it. There's well, no way. She called it a comedy concert. Oh, She's like, I got a comedy concert tonight, oh, guys. God. In the history, yeah. no one's ever said that. And then I just got thrown off by the violent kitchen scene. Oh yes, where yes. she's just going yes. in. Like, oh, yeah, oh. and I'm like, oh my god, like what's happening? I feel like that's wrong. Something I know. Is, she's calling for help. But I think. when I watch Rosie do that, to sure, Miranda, yeah, 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 she's just like flicking a koosh ball <laughs> like right in there. No. <laughs> yes, one hundred percent. I. Uh, you know what? Though? I'm. Uh, whatever for the history of whatever I'm, I've always been Team Rosie. I like her. I always have. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. I'm blessed. Uh, you know, I'm and I'm excited. glad. I'm glad to see her on because she's. You know, she's gray. Mm -hmm. She's not the tiniest. Mm -hmm. I'm jazzed. I'm I know. Jazzed I'm very excited. I love, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um. You know, I'm not jazzed about <gasps> Britney Spears. Oh God. Oh. I know. Okay. Go. Uh. The sunset ferret uh. known as Britney Spears. <laughs> Was oh, seen no. last week yes. leaving the Chateau Marmont, uh, which is right down the street I was from here. Say, neighbors. Barefoot. In her underwear, covered in a pillow. God. Yeah. And I just think we're just so close to getting getting her back. And then it's, it's just I mean, that one does not like shoes. She well, does. Well, I mean, not. but that's fine. Fair enough. Yeah, I get In it. public, though? She's from Louisiana. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a Southern thing. It's a thing. Okay. I, I remember up. being a kid. My mom's like, put shoes on. And uh, some people just don't. Okay. <laughs> um, but everyone's calling it a mental breakdown. Oh. Uh, everyone's concerned about her. So they arrived to her room at the Chateau Marmont last Wednesday. Uh, several guests heard a ruckus believed to have been caused by Spears and her boyfriend, Paul Solis. Oh, but in a recent Instagram post, she believes this has to have been a setup. Oh, my gosh. I know my mom was involved. <laughs> I haven't talked to her in like six months and she called right after it happened before the news being out. I was set up just like she did way back when. Spears writes. And spun around four times. Oh, uh, yes, I was going to say there's some twirling. In another post, the Grammy Award winner sings, uh, slams paramedics. Ma'am, don't slam Come the paramedics. Come on, don't. My God. Uh, accusing them of illegally showing up at my door, uh -oh. though adding that they didn't enter the room. Illegally showing up at my door. They illegally showed up at my room. <laughs> Y'all, 
<laughs> Pepsi's Pepsi. <laughs> the incident <laughs> drew alarm on social media and several people close to Spears have come forward since the event to express their belief that she should have been kept in a conservatorship. <laughs> One individual told the gossip uh. outlet that they feared she's turned to substance abuse. Oh, no. The conservatorship and the interventions prior to it happened for a reason and it wasn't because her dad wanted to make some nefarious money grab. Uh, Spears, who's divorced from Sam Asgari, finalized this week, was under the control of her father. Uh, also this week, a financial battle stemming from, from the conservatorship came to an end when the judge ordered she pay $2 million for her dad's legal fees and denied her financial relief. So, uh, it's scary. Yes. I don't want anything to happen to her. She's, yeah, she's... She's unwell. She's unwell. You know what I mean? She needs uh, help. She's dating. What was? Who was she was, dating? She was dating this guy, and there's been rumors, but I'm trying to remember what the actual occupation of the new boyfriend okay. is. I want to say he works in her home. Oh, like it's like her gardener. Her it's handy. like her handyman. Yeah, no, or like I a mean, gardener. It's like, like a oh, yeah yeah yeah. Or okay. Or something. okay. I know. Let's can we? Look I mean, it this up? is yeah. Task Rabbit, here we come. You I know. know I mean, this is, I mean <laughs> if you can find a hot yeah. Task Rabbit, I mean, former they're out there. Former housekeeper. Former housekeeper, okay. yeah. So apparently, a lot of people said they heard them arguing. Mm. Um, a lot of people said uh, she even posted a video of her filming her ankle and it was swollen. Oh. And because he she, punched her in the ankle, <laughs> or like pushed her and she twisted her ankle. Okay, or okay. Something. I but I mean, like, punched in the a, ankle, I think I mean, that's. <laughs> Yeah, I'm never. I hope you never become like a forensic scientist. <laughs> They're like, that well, was, they punched she was her punched in the, in the ankle. <laughs> what? She was poisoned. No, she was punched in the, in the ankle. ankle. <laughs> yeah. So this. Okay. Is, yeah. yeah. There we go. This looks like a mix between Kevin Federline and Sam Asgari. <gasps> That's what she's just doing. A a repeat. She's it's just, just a like, little a meshing, a melding. I know. Okay, yeah. And I swear to God, I have a message for this ex housekeeper. Mm. If you <laughs> touch her again, <laughs> I will find you. And also, bitch, there's a Britney army. They right. will oh, find they, you. You faster than Swifties anybody else. Are crazy. Oh God, yeah. Whew. Oh yes. But oh, there um, we go. yeah. Oh. I, it's. She said she was fine. She said her mom came after her. The mom's denying it. I mean. Seriously. She Happy means, Mother's Day. I mean, right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> to everyone. Ooh. Bless. Bless. Uh, well, let's talk about sexomnia. Okay, go. This is a new thing. I have it. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure I have it. <laughs> You're self-diagnosing. <laughs> WebMD over here. First me in the ankle. <laughs> okay, go. That's my key. <laughs> so, like sleepwalking or sleep talking, mm. sexomnia is a disorder, but one in which people engage in sexual activity. Okay, I do not have that. All right. <laughs> no, I do not have that. <laughs> well, I, I was like, here we go. Okay. Some people sleepwalk, others talk in their sleep, and oh. there's another sleep disorder, one that can cause embarrassment, relationship problems, and at times, legal troubles. Yeah. Sexomnia, as the National Library of Medicine explains, is characterized by sexual behavior during sleep. Your cognition is deeply asleep, and you're not with the program, but your body is activated. Oh, my God. Dr. Carlos Shank, a professor and senior staff psychiatrist at the University of Minnesota's Hennepin County Medical Center, told CNN, Sexomnia is a type of parasomnia. Too many somnias. <laughs> Too many somnias. That's the clinical term for unusual and undesirable physical events or experiences that disrupt your sleep. Okay. And most people know or experience forms of parasomnia that involve sleep talking or sleepwalking. Yeah. This is not that. Most often occur during the slowest, deepest stage of sleep called delta sleep, which could also be a horse at the Kentucky <laughs> Derby. Um, it's like an alarm or trigger goes off in the central nervous system and you go from your basement to your roof in no time flat. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah. <laughs> That's dangerous because when you start walking and running and doing all sorts of things without your mind being awake. So many people are very unaware of their nocturnal sexual activities. They may masturbate, instigate sex, and as CNN reports, some people will instigate sex with a partner while asleep, oh. but become conscious during intercourse and then accuse their partner of sexual I there's assault. been an episode of SVU on this already. Really? Oh yes, like Has several there? seasons ago. Oh yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never heard of this. Yeah, and it was the, that's the whole thing that it was, you know, during sleep. I was asleep. He, exactly. And he claims he was asleep and whatever. I mean, I, do we have numbers on? Is it mainly men that this it has happens to? Be. to? It's got to be. Because I feel it? like, I feel like female teachers are usually awake. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> but wow. Uh, oh. I mean, I'm a sleep talker, but you are? You oh, talking yes. to sleep? Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a I never stop. What? I, I gotta fit it in. I feel I gotta fit it in. Well, so do they, apparently. <laughs> I I feel I feel like we're in a world now of like ring cameras. It reminds me of that girl on TikTok. Have you seen her Which where one? she she's like a full on oh, yes. sleepwalker? It's oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. funny. It's very funny. But it's also like but it'd be terrifying. Like but glowing yeah, yeah. eyes oh, in yeah. the dark and she's like, <laughs> ah, ah, you know. But I yeah. feel like if you're in a relationship like that, you could at least record it A as evidence. Yes. <laughs> I mean. And B to be like, okay. Well, I feel like you probably like if you have that, that would be a very good get a nanny cam immediately. Get a nanny immediately, cam. right? I yeah. mean, wow. Though. I think it's like so. I've never heard anything about this, yeah. and now I I know. I mean, I thought to be honest, I thought it was just made up for SVU. I like I really thought they were just oh, like really? oh I did I didn't know it was a real thing. Oh yeah, I guess oh, that's I'm like, not a Googler like you. I know. Oh I mean, I yeah, Google more. I I think it's I think it's very that's it's very scary. Oh yeah, that is that's a lot. Can you mean very I mean, really? scary? Ugh, but, sleepovers. Mm. Ugh, God, yeah. uh, terrible. But I feel like it's right up there. Like here's here's another uh, quote. He says it's the breath holding or apnea from the extractive sleep apnea oh. because I guess he's talking it uh it's it's kind of a sleep apnea oh. is believed to be the trigger oh my god for the acting out of it oh wow okay I, I don't know about you but every time I think about choking <laughs> oh, choking <laughs> That's it. everyone's into choking That's now what I was gonna say so just, uh, just like, oh, it makes uh, you like, okay, for, that's not my thing. I don't get choking. it. Me neither. No, I don't thank get it. you. No, thank you. Like everyone's on understand. stage now talking oh. about getting choked. And yes. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I don't want that. I'm not into it. I don't, I like to have free, yeah. unencumbered yeah. airways, please. Don't touch. No, no, no. no. Don't. Ugh. Don't do it. No, we'll pass. Well, <laughs> let's thirst for a little bit. Okay. So. Oh, yay. Tiffany Haddish mm. confesses that she wanted to sleep with Henry Cavill until she met him. Damn. I know. Damn. I know. I know. Okay. So a lot of people, I think uh, Henry Cavill, ooh, the guy. Mm. He's the guy. Mm. He is, uh, like, if you ask me who the sexy superstar uh, is, yeah. Henry Cavill. Yes. Hemsworth's the, up there, uh, but sure. Henry Cavill. He's winning, though. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The Ooh. accent, the everything. Everything. Oh, All of it. The eyes, the, oh. the, 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 uh, the ratio uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. between his pecs. Oh, God, yeah. Look yeah. at him. Look at him. So, mm. yeah, look at that. <laughs> just, <laughs> Silence. Just us. Okay, so okay, Tiffany said that she once lusted after Henry Cavill, but her feelings quickly took a turn after she met... Henry, okay. which is something she's found with other celebrities. She <gasps> says, hey, it's your girl, Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> All the famous guys I used to think. <laughs> oh, I would love to do it to him. I know them now, and I'm like, no. Oh, no. Oh. Um, I, I used to really want Henry Cavill. I think he's so hot, but I met him, and he was so awkward. It was then that the comedian realized she wouldn't want to date him after all, adding, it was like the this would be weird. I should be talking to him about Dungeons and Dragons. Maybe he'd be more comfortable. Okay. <laughs> Tiffany also said maybe she's just never had a black woman be like, what's up? What's your credit score? There it is. Do you like spaghetti? I'll cook for you. Are you afraid of South Central or not? <laughs> But despite the awkwardness, she acknowledges that he's still oh. beautiful. See, awkward I would be okay with. Dungeons and Dragons, maybe not, though. Don't be mad, but I'm, yeah, that's, that's, I'm. But you know were I mean? they saying he likes Dungeons and Dragons? Or no, she's just saying he's she a might nerd. Be a, yeah, a nerd. Does she saying But awkward a and a nerd, nerd, is that the same? Like, is he neurodivergent? What's going on? I don't know, but like, what does she think was going to happen? I maybe, I, I'm like, I th she, but does she want a relationship with him? I don't know. Or do we just want to kiss him? Or maybe she has sexomnia because she, she keeps falling asleep in her car. <laughs> I will say, though, quickly, I did see I somehow someone knows me, my my algorithm. Mm -hmm. I got it. I found a picture of Henry Cavill at like 21. Ooh. Don't. 
I'll send it to you, lady. You're not, it's... Like Tudor's Henry Cavill? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, I, I mean, wow. AI Henry Cavill oh. is dangerous. Oh, yeah, it's dangerous. It's, it's dangerous. Too much. It's too I want to know if he knows that this all happens. Like, <gasps> yes, do you think? I don't They're know. Like, do you know that people are doing this that to you? There's like AI Henry Cavill oh, yeah. where he is like in like a torn <sighs> pair of underwear. This is a... It's dangerous. Science is it's, great. It, <laughs> <laughs> I love science. Uh, Henry Cavill, okay. Chad GBT oh. is like my Ooh. favorite. Okay, good. We're doing that after. Uh, <laughs> well, we have, we have one more okay. story. Let's talk. This woman has gone viral for hitting Lil' Kim's famous quiet storm moves during a news report. So oh, I've not seen this. I'm desperate now. This is the new iconic news feed. I'm gonna I'm gonna just mention okay, some go. off the top of my okay, head. Go, go. Yeah. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Yeah. That was one that yeah. went like crazy viral. <laughs> um I'm trying to think. Leprechaun. If you see a leprechaun, say yeah. You remember that one? No. In the tree? No, Wasn't yeah, there a leprechaun it, it, in a tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that was one. <laughs> Lee, Jesus, out of nowhere. <laughs> um another one was I'm trying to think of another um got time for that. Yeah, ain't nobody I, got time, ain't for, nobody that. Got time oh, for that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, other news <laughs> clips that have gone viral. Grape Lady, one of my favorites, where the lady is yeah. crushing the wine and oh, she yeah. falls out. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, 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 I can't breathe. Oh, I can't God. breathe. Oh, God. That one. Oh, that one hits. And it cuts back it to the anchor. And she's like, and like ouch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo. Oh, no, that, that noise, though. I, we'll be right back. <laughs> I love oh, no. Yes. I love oh. New- oh, another one is the, the 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 couple running in the snow and the woman's like, I love running in the snow because it's just a hard surface. And then they see her run off and she just eats shit and hits her head on the ice. And she's like oh. limping over like with her back, uh, her spine's exposed. It's so good. Oh God. So oh, good. So fun. So we love a good oh, news yes. clip that goes oh. viral. Yes. So this is our newest okay, one. Go. WTVY News 4 News Report. Dothan, Alabama, police responded to emergency calls reporting a shooting at a local apartment complex. The victim was taken to a nearby hospital after being treated at the scene for a gunshot wound to the chest. A woman at the scene was able to speak to the news station about what she heard during the violent incident. Her brief yet descriptive statement resulted in a viral moment due to her spirited delivery. Um, should we just watch the yeah, spirit of delivery? I need to see it. I haven't seen it. Oh, no. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Here, here she Jesus. is. So I'm getting to the car. I hear fire, 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 fire. At least by seven rounds. So I'm ducking. I'm dodging. I'm ducking. I'm dodging. I'm ducking. Doing little cam. I'm trying <laughs> to get my baby in the car. Then I throw my baby in the back seat. And we just sped off. <laughs> I love it. Take your 15 seconds, 15 minutes, whatever, you know what I mean? God bless. <laughs> doing a little cam, which if you're not familiar with the uh, doing the little cam, it was from her, um, uh, I'm trying to think, was that a concert that she had? Was it like the hip hop honors? Yeah, or yeah, no? that's Let's what they're saying. I think it was, was it? And she's doing like all yeah, the little yeah. jerky movements, but I'm like, I, do, I need to know if Lil' Kim has oh. released like a... Uh, Something. Uh, I mean, I'm, wait, I want to. I'm ducking. I'm dodging. I'm ducking. I'm dodging. I'm ducking. Doing little cam. I love her. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Viral. <laughs> viral <laughs> video. Oh, I love yes. it. I'm oh. wondering if Lil Kim has made. It's a, happening. If it's if she, she hasn't, has it's immediately. I mean, I'm gonna call it. Okay. <clears throat> Diss track. Lil Kim. <laughs> Diss track. <laughs> Lil' Kim's mad. Yes. She's like, that bitch be ducking and diving and ducking and doing me. Um, I'm going to say Lil' Kim will have this woman on stage with her. Yes. 100%. 100%. Done. Yep. Yep. Signed, sealed, delivered. Yep. yep. Perfect. Yep. I fun. love it. Fun. <laughs> well, that is it. That uh, was great. Did you have fun today? I had a wonderful time. That Good. was wonderful. I'm so glad. This was so much fun. Good. Thank please, you for having please, me. Please, please, please tell everybody out there where they can find you, where yes. they can follow you, Do, all of it. Yeah, Deborah DG on Instagram. Yes. D-E-B-R-A-D-G. And that's where I'll tell you where I am. I'm based in Los Angeles, but I travel, will travel. And yeah, there we go. It's so wonderful. wonderful. Uh, like, she seriously... Follow her. She's so goddamn funny. It's true. And love having you here. And <laughs> we will you. see you next time on the Just Saying Podcast. You guys have a great week. Bye. Bye.